We're here on the hill today to make a change because of the fact that kidney disease is a crisis. It's a crisis across the country. Thousands of unnecessary deaths occur each year. These are staggering numbers, and this is the reason our programs and services are so critical across the country. Tonight, approximately 100 patient advocates, including kidney disease patients, their family members, and living organ donors stepped in for the one in seven Americans who have chronic kidney diseases. Being here at the Kidney Summit with the Kidney Advocacy Committee allows me to voice my concerns about kidney disease and raise awareness to it to bring hope to people who are suffering from this disease. Kidney patients like me from all over the country are here to meet with lawmakers and tell them about why kidneys are so important to your health. I love it that we have a young uh, ambassador to say, this is what I've gone through, this is what I've done, you can do it too. Until we find a 100% cure, we're going to do everything that we can for the awareness and the treatment. Really what we're trying to do at these meetings is put a face to an issue. And the way that we can do that as patients is to just share what it is that we've been through and the things that have been tough and the things that bring people hope so that we can share that and bring about change. You have so many ambassadors that's taking time out of your busy life and come up here and see us and advocate for something that is literally a life or death situation means the world to me. There is no better advocate than someone with a personal story. Never in our wildest dreams were we anticipating kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, organ failure, and needing to find a donor, much less having to find a living donor. We have thousands of people on the transplant list now, and for many people it takes up to five years to even move up that list. And so we need more people who are willing to be living donors because it only takes one to make a difference, right? You only need one kidney to live, and it only takes one to make someone else's life much better. I was nine years old when I was diagnosed with kidney disease, so I want to make a difference. I want to make a change. I want to be here to be able to tell others that we need to do something about our health care system by helping with some of these bills that we are looking at today. So the bills we're talking about today are 3867, which is the early detection programs, and then 1270, which is the Living Donor Protection Act. And both of those will help a lot to not only slow the progression of kidney disease, but also get people out of it more quickly with a transplant. Just last week, we had someone contact us that they had donated th their kidney to their friend who had Alport syndrome, and their employer didn't give them the time off to do so, and they lost their job for saving someone's life, and obviously that needs to change. Something as simple as blood pressure screenings would save so many lives and would prevent people from ending up on dialysis. Congress can do more, and we will do more to prevent kidney disease from occurring and to delay the progression of kidney disease to kidney failure. This year has been really great so far, and I think a lot of that is just because we are coming here every single year, and they're becoming more familiar with our message about organ donation and issues related to the National Kidney Foundation and kidneys in general. It gives a voice to the voiceless to come up here, talk to our representatives and our senators, and, and say this is what will make it better for our lives as kidney patients or as folks at risk for kidney disease.